Okay, so here's my first thought. He's using my machine. When he impales himself or drops this deer tower on himself, on video, mind you, am I going to be responsible? You got a skid steer that can lift like 9,000 9, pounds or something. There's no way this is going to survive. He's going to... All right, so now you got yourself in a pickle here, Phil. You Whoa, take it easy now. I mean, we're almost there. I mean, I had your back the whole way. I knew... Hey guys, Capper here, and happy Friday, and welcome back. So today's been a little bit busy. I've been on the road all day and that, but we got a lot of fresh air. So I'm editing a few videos for my buddy Phil on his 85-acre farm down here, and I think you'll enjoy this one. We're going to have some fun with it, but it's going to show you how tenacious he is, and I, I may or may not throw him under the bus once or twice since he's got lots of videos now stacked up of him throwing me under the bus but anyways since editing time is short i think you'll have some fun for your friday night pour a cold one and enjoy it and we'll see you soon tomorrow i'm going down to kentucky for a trail ride and a shrimp oil and it should be a blast so stay tuned and once again happy friday night all right i'm having a little trouble getting the bottom section to shake out by myself so I'm gonna have to get a little bit of help get somebody to knock it down for me when I pick it up so I can move this fix it up pretty good but I don't want to try to travel with it if I catch the feet it'll tip and may go over on its side wasn't thinking because there's always an attachment in the way that I can't get out of the machine but I can get out with it all the way up see how this turns out don't try this at home Okay, so here's my first thought. My first thought is he's using my machine. He's using my Bobcat T650. So when he impales himself or drops this deer tower on himself, on video, mind you, or I'm just wondering, like, am I going to be responsible right now? I mean, I haven't watched the rest of this video, but let's just hope he kind of knows what he's doing. Now I'm committed. so here I'm thinking you could see these little tube tubular legs flexing you got a skid steer that can lift like nine nine thousand pounds or something and you got these tube frame deer legs there's no way this is gonna survive he's gonna just scrape it once too many and it's just gonna rip the bottom right off Alright, so now you got yourself in a pickle here, Phil. You got two of the four legs that are completely separated. The third of the fourth is like halfway separated, and the last one is not separated at all, which means it's it's bound up. So that last one ain't gonna give. And he continues to go forward. I mean if he just nicks that one leg on the ground, one of these back two, it's just gonna twist that thing into a pretzel. So Let's see how this is going to go.
Yep, here it comes. These legs are going to just rip right off of there. Need a hole. Okay, I'm putting my money down right here. There is no way this is going to work. I like Phil. He's my buddy. He's tenacious. He's a good guy. But Phil, I'm going to put my money against you on this one. There is no way what you're doing right here has any chances of working. Wait, what? And there it was. Ladies and gentlemen, do not try that at home. Get squared up on this and make a run. All right, I, I mean, I'm just going to call beginner's luck on this one. I mean, I'm the one that gave him this idea after all. I mean, if you've been with us for a while, you've seen me move like, I don't know, 46 or 47 deer stands with tractors and skid steers. So I. I'm going to just say, so far it's beginner's luck, but you got a long way to go. He wants to move this from one end of his property to the other, which is like a half mile, through the woods with a lot of steep ditches and roads and wa water cuts and whatnot. So you got a long way to go yet. I'm not going to concede anything at this point. He still has a long way to go. But I, I'm just going to say, he, he really probably has learned from the best on how to do this kind of stuff. So, well, we'll see if he's going to make it or not. Phil, that culvert pipe needs just a little bit of work. I mean, just saying in case you weren't aware of it. Yep, here goes the platform. Any minute now, it's just going to fall right off of there. Yeah, I can't bag on you for that one. 
I've done that about a thousand times. Kind of frustrating. Okay, he might actually pull this one off. Um, man, this blind made it through quite a few obstacles, but let, let's see if he finishes it out. And and if you do finish uh, successfully, Phil, just huge congratulations. Um, I'm glad I taught you well. And I mean, we'll both take a win on this one, hopefully soon. Take it easy now. I mean, we're almost there. I mean, I had your back the whole way. I knew you were gonna succeed. I, I definitely knew it. So let's let's finish strong here, man, and have a wonderful weekend. will need help getting the bottom back on there. Go get another one. 